Fiat works at Turin, Modena, and Brescia, Fiat are building wheeled and full-track tractors for agricultural and industrial purposes. The first Fiat tractor was built in 1919. It was called the 702, and it quickly made a name for itself as the result of its excellent performance. It was basic in this field of mechanical engineering because it is used to cultivate the land. After that first machine, an extensive range of other machines has been built, with improvements recorded from year to year. Fiat tractors today are the outcome of over 40 years' experience in this field. Fiat subject their prototypes to very severe tests, using the latest electronic equipment, up-to-date methods of research, and the untiring and devoted work of skilled workers. Here we are on the test track, where the instrument truck with measuring and control devices is a veritable mobile and self-sufficing laboratory. By its use, it has become possible to investigate and elaborate on site much data which could not otherwise be obtained whilst working in a laboratory of the ordinary type. This data, collected during the test period, goes to establish the technical features of every type of tractor. a quick survey of tractor construction. This is the heavy duty section, the first stage following the actual production of the various parts used in the construction of a tractor. Here the raw material, the casting, finally takes shape, which means that it is prepared to receive the assembly of mechanical parts. Modern machine tools transform the raw materials into carefully finished single parts. Work of great precision produces the gears, fundamental elements in modern mechanics. Replacing the old-time workman toiling with his hands in an ill-equipped factory, we have the highly skilled mechanic using his powers of concentration and intelligence and relieved of heavy manual labor. Here we are watching the heat treatment of materials. This is one of the most delicate stages of the whole production process. It is entrusted to highly skilled technicians whose knowledge and practical ability are combined to ensure that every part of the machine will be strongly built. This plant, where the track links are made, is almost entirely automatic high quality workmanship and the very latest types of equipment. Which easily explains why Fiat have become the leading manufacturers of track laying tractors in Europe today. Fiat have been building them for more than 30 years. They are suitable for use in agricultural areas where hills and mountains abound, where there is much difficult land and where deep plowing is essential. The full track tractor furthermore represents one of the most efficient means for the improvement and adaptation of uncultivated lands and for the preparation of the soil on extensive areas by coupling them with equipment of various uses.
engine production consists really of parallel lines, which at prearranged points converge into the assembly line where the engine begins to take shape. But before that stage is reached, the flywheels have to be machined, the crankshafts balanced, the base place bored, and the pistons prepared. Miles of overhead conveyors, tons of materials, thousands of hours of labor, the most advanced equipment. Each single part is precision fitted to the others so accurately that it will not let them down. Accurate planning, automation, intensive professional training of labor, these are the main cogs on which the wheel of precise and delicate production turns without jamming. Now we must come back to our engine. The flywheel and crankshaft are being fitted. The pistons are being mounted. And now it is complete. Yes, but it has to be tested. We must make sure that it will do its job. And now, coupled to the hydraulic brake, the newborn babe begins to utter its first cries, its first noisy explosion. This is the huge room where you see the examiners on one side, all in a line and with perfect testing benches, and on the other, the rows of the motors to be examined. And they clearly show the care which Fiat take in the testing and inspection of their tractors. This is why the Fiat tractor has ensured for itself one of the leading positions in world tractor classification. But here we are at the meeting of the waves. The tractor body and the engine make their final appointment to give life to the machine. This phase of the final assembly involves the punctual arrival of all the main parts already tested. The tractor is born. Then it moves quickly and surely, and at the rate of one every five minutes, it goes to join the line of those which have gone before it. The last links in the production chain, testing, painting, finishing. This crane is conveying a nine-ton tractor to the painting line. It is the last stage of the tractor's journey through the factory ready for its long trail when it will be on the land. And now the machines are closely assembled in the parking grounds. They invade the huge loading sheds. They are placed alongside the road in rail transport vehicles, and they scatter to many different parts of the world. By big road conveyors, by rail, by sea. These tractors are supplied not only to the home market,
but to 50 countries abroad. Since 1919, when the first heavy wheel tractors were built, which even then were able to compete successfully with the many foreign makes, how much experience has been gained, how much progress made. Except for the war period, here are the successive results. Fiat tractors all over the world. 1919 in six countries. 1950 in 12 countries. 1960 in 50 countries. Fiat tractors are being more widely used every day. Where a tractor is at work, there economic and social progress is being made. The machine replaces man's age-old labors, and life in the country, thanks to mechanization, is evolving socially. Fiat have also built big tractor production plants in other countries. Here we are flying over the factory at Cordoba in the Argentine. 12,000 tractors a year will soon be produced in these works. Fiat also supply many engines for use in agricultural tractors and machines of both Italian and foreign make. A big service network becomes essential for these tractors, which are being sent to many countries in every continent. A speedy and accurate supply of spare parts is assured. The distribution of spare parts is controlled by modern calculators to keep pace with the continuous demands from all parts of the globe. Telewriters, which are permanently connected in the commercial network of the branches, ask for the parts. And the department concerned promptly replies and provides what is required. The mechanized spare parts installation acts like a brain. Its impulses are transmitted into the work of spare parts production, into storage and to dispatch. A complete and meticulous organization, astounding speed. The tractor is one of the most important items in the range of Fiat production. Commencing in 1899 as an automobile factory, Fiat have subsequently extended their range of activities to all branches of motorization. There are about 20 Fiat factories in Turin and others in various parts of Italy and abroad. The Fiat group employ over 85,000 workers. The cycle of Fiat production commences with the iron and steel foundries. From the manufacture of steel and of metal castings to the finished product used in all forms of land, sea, and air transport. This is the Mirafiori car production plant, an excellent example of modern Fiat construction. From the big press rooms to the assembly line for every type of car. To the testing track. Fiat trucks have made history commencing from the 15 tear and the 18 BL models of over 40 years ago. Fiat coaches and railway engines are sent to many countries of the world, even the most distant. In 
Here we are in the engine testing room and turbine testing room of the Fiat Big Diesel Engine Plant. And in the aircraft factories, the light tactical hunter, the Fiat G91, winner of the NATO competition. Fiat, land, sea, air, a world of industry under a single sign. 